Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today Acasa sent me their new TB501 Pro, and the link's in the description with a 20% off discount code. So it's the new improved model of their Thunderbolt 5 enclosure. This has a switchable fan, whereas the other one did not. So you press the button for about a second and then let go, and the fan kicks on. And while it is audible, it's not very loud. And you can switch it into automatic mode, and when it's in auto mode the fan is on but you can't hear it it's super quiet if the NVMe is getting too hot it'll kick the fan on automatically so it only ramps up the fan when needed and this one also allows you to connect it to older ports like USB 3. So it's nice to be able to unplug your drive and be able to plug it into older computers if you need to. So let's take it for a test spin. And here we are using Anamorphous Dismark, and you can see the Mac Mini's on the left, the Acasis TB501 Pro is on the right, and the TB501 Pro is outperforming the Mac Mini in every test, except the bottom two random four kilobyte read tests. But the Acasis wins on the right speeds on the random four kilobit tests. So I copied 320 gigs worth of Final Cut Pro projects to the internal Mac Mini SSD, and then I tried it the other way to the Acasis external TB501 Pro. And I'll just speed these up. It basically took two minutes to copy the 270 gigs with the Acasis, and it took the Mac Mini eight minutes as it slowed way down after it copied about 150 gigs. And I know most people don't transfer all this data at once, but I'm just showing you. And you can see on the right, the Mac Mini hit like three gigs a second initially, but after about 150 gigs, it dropped down to three, 400 megabytes per second. And I'll just throw in the Blackmagic speed test, because why not? You can see again that the Mac Mini is a fair amount slower than the Acasis. And the fact you can get these speeds on an external drive is pretty insane. And Acasis has a recommended list of NVMEs on their website. I am using a Western Digital Black SN850X. It can handle up to 8 terabytes. And it's just so easy. You don't need any tools. You don't have to unscrew anything. You just pop Hop in the NVMe, put on your thermal pads, and close it up, and you're good to go. And as most of you know, I am running my user account on the external drive. 90% of my data is running off of this. I've been using it for about a week now, and it's been rock solid. So if you want one of the fastest external SSDs out there, go with the Acasis TB501 Pro. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me the thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.